research it. Some flux. Yeah. Let's see what we get from this. Headshots again. Okay, do I have any more down here? We'll put some hit dealt. Headshots. Affliction. Here we go. Going all the way to 130. I don't know why I 130 that trash one. Because five headshots is not, like, at all good. Okay, here we go. That's okay, because we got a Shadow Shard one. Confirmed. 40 into... Well, let's take a look at these stats right here. Real quick before we go into uh, here compared to this. So we're looking at the stats. Revolt is a tiny bit higher, only because it is about 10 power level, 6 power levels higher. Uh, I think we get rating. We're gonna go flat damage and we're gonna go crit damage here. We're gonna max them out. Here we go. Okay, anyways. So, there we go. Maxed out Haywire. Yeah, we're at 99k versus a Revolt. Yeah, so the damage is kind of match up. Um, they are practically the same exact weapon of each other, except the Revolt is a Founder's weapon, obviously. However, it's epic rarity, but it has a unique perk, which is Ricochet's bullets. So, there's just really that only difference between the two. They're practically the I exact identical weapon, except the Revolt has flat damage while the Haywire has Affliction, but that's only because of the six perk that is different. So, that's some things to take into consideration when you are using this weapon that it can't match the revolt. Onwards to the Lodo, you want to run Beetle Jess as the commander because we got a crit rating on one of our perks for the weapon. So we go Ranger Deadeye for the flat damage, Gunblazer for the flat phase shift damage, Wafers plus Battle Beat for the TRO uh, team perk, and then we're going to go Chaos Agent to auto reload our weaponry. Um, HP and turrets will be your gadgets. Alright, well we got a load of these guys. Oh my god, what the, wait, what the heck was that? Okay, oh, we got, we got a lot. Okay. Okay, well that's 34k. Let's see if we can hit that pot. Where's that one? Okay, that one just dropped. Nice, you gotta smash this way. Oh my god. That was a 100k crit on Affliction! Dear god! An additional note is that we are currently in mid slash lower level regions of Twine, and the real only reason why is because, just like the note previous, we. Well, Haywire Storm is not good in endgame. No matter the trigger thing that, that you have, no matter the perks, no matter the loadout, you're not gonna get the results that you want because the weapon just can't match the necessity, the necessary damage that it requires to actually be useful in endgame. Um, but yeah, with that being said, it's still a fun weapon. Regardless, it's, it's a very fun weapon. Test your aim, test your precision because the headshots are very satisfying. Um, but yeah, pretty much, honestly, it, it's, it, it's, a, it's a fun weapon, it's just like a revolt, but a lot, a little bit harder, because one, it's standard, two, it's not a revolt, and three, it's free to play.